Romans is one of my favorite books in the Bible. It is the most decorated uh, book in my Bible. Uh, because uh, sinesettle niya yung sinesettle niya yung mga pwedeng arguments ng mga pilosopo. And the, the, the logic of the philosophy of things and then it points to the most important he 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 he, he outlined how you should be uh, how we should be made right how how do we get how do we one would make it right with God and so uh, and at the same time the book of Romans is the most uh, uh, very misunderstood uh, uh, book why uh, Paul says a such a statement they just take a portion of it without understanding why the whole context kaya yun ang ginagamit nila to uh, to suppress the truth right? to suppress the truth and so it's it's not good you have to know the whole context of what why why this is being said like this romans is written by paul it's a letter to his uh, it's a letter to his uh, to the believers in rome he hasn't been there yet he hasn't seen them yet but he, he heard about them all right and uh, this is uh, you know the book uh, rome is of course uh, yung mga napunta doon na, yung mga napunta doon na believers from jerusalem they are jews and then they went to uh, they went to Rome. Siyempre, may mga na-convert sila doon. Uh, they have converts in Rome who are uh, not Jews. It means, in the King James Version, they call it Greeks. But uh, in the NIV or the New Living Translation, they ad he addressed them as Gentiles. Okay? A slave of Christ Jesus, chosen by God to be an apostle and sent out to preach his good news. God promised this good news long ago through his prophets in the Holy Scriptures. Yes, as a matter of fact, the good news is not only uh, mentioned in the New Testament, but it has been, it has been promised. The good news has been promised even long ago during the time of the prophets. Okay? The good news is about his son, about Jesus. Okay? In his earthly life, he was born into the king into King David's line, family line, and he was shown to be the Son of God when he was raised from the dead by the power of the Holy Spirit. He is Jesus Christ, our Lord. Through Christ, God has given us the privilege. Okay, God has given us the privilege and authority as apostles. Okay, he is talking about the apostles. He's talking about himself and the apostles, okay? Through Christ, God has given us the privilege and authority as apostles to tell Gentiles everywhere what God has done for them, okay? So that God has given us the privilege, he was saying, God has given us the privilege to go and the privilege and authority, or God has given us the grace and authority as apostles, okay? as apostles to tell the gentiles everywhere to tell the uh, the uh, uh, the gentiles everywhere what god has done for them okay for why why so that they will believe and obey him bringing glory to his name okay so the good news that what jesus did is to reconcile it's no longer he did not come there just for the jews but he came also for the for the Gentile, anyone who is not born as a Jew is called a Gentile. So that includes you and me, right? And so God has given us, he says, Apostle Paul, God has given us the privilege or the grace and authority to go tell the Gentiles, to preach to the Gentiles, to make known to the Gentiles what God has done for them so that they would believe and obey him for what purpose to bring glory to his name okay and you are included among those gentiles he says this remember his audience here is his audience here is 
the believers in Rome. Okay? And you are included in this in this among those Gentiles who have been called to belong to Jesus Christ. I am writing to all of you in Rome who are loved by God and who are called to be his own holy people. May God our Father, the Lord Jesus Christ, give you grace and peace. Yeah? Now let's see about this good news. Let me say first, I thank my God through Jesus Christ for all of you. Because of your faith in him is being talked about all over the world. God knows how often I pray for you, day and night. He hasn't seen them yet. Day and night I bring you and your needs in prayers to God, whom I serve with all my heart, by spreading the good news about his Son. One of the things I always pray, one of the things I always pray for, for is the opportunity, God willing, to come at last to see you. This was his desire and his prayer to go to Rome and, 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 and teach them personally. All right? For I long to visit you so I can bring you some spiritual gift that will help you grow strong in the Lord. When we get together, I want to encourage you in your faith, but also I want, but I also want to be encouraged by yours. It's uh, 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 two-way traffic, uh, you know, the, uh, the missionaries, the missionaries, the servants of God, they come to, they come to encourage us, but Little did we know that they are also being encouraged by what they see. Okay, so uh, uh, it's uh, it's a two-way traffic. I want you to know, dear brothers and sisters, that I planned many times to visit you, but I was prevented until now. I want to work among you and see spiritual fruit. You see, that is the desire of every servant of God, every pastor, every every servant of God. In the desire, every disciple who wants to be disciple, who wants, who is this, every discipler, they want is, is to see spiritual fruit. Okay? Spiritual fruit. So can you imagine, can you imagine a pastor who is, uh, who has a congregation uh, that is stagnant as if nothing is happening. They come to church, Sunday in and Sunday out, but then nothing changes. Nothing changed. There is no excitement. There is no. Uh, there is no action. There is no. I don't know. There is that. It's missing. It's missing life. It's missing, and uh, it discourages. Uh, it's dis it's disappointing to the uh, to the pastor. But when you see action, when you see excitement in your in your thing, it encourages the servant of God. So he says that I want to work among you. Okay, work among you, okay, and see spiritual fruit, just as I have seen among other Gentiles. For I have a great sense of obligation to people in both the civilized world and the rest of the world, to the educated and uneducated alike. Okay, meaning because salvation is for everyone. Right. So I am eager to come to you in Rome, too, to preach the good news. For I am not ashamed. I thought uh, this is a memory verse. For, for I am not ashamed of this good news about Christ. If why are we? Sh why should we be? Yes. Why should we be ashamed of the uh, of the good news about Jesus Christ? Uh, because it is the power of God at work, saving everyone who believes. It is the power to salvation. Romans one sixteen. It is the power of God at work saving everyone who believes, the Jew first, and then also the Gentile. Okay? This good news, this good news, remember what is the good news? The good news is that Jesus, the good news is Jesus, all right? And what he did, okay? That's the good news. Okay? The finished work of the cross, okay? the purpose why he came. The good news tells us, good news tells us how God makes us right in His sight, okay? Good news tells us how God makes us right in His sight. This is accomplished from start to finish, you see? It, he delivered, like, I like the way He presented it, that, okay? He, the good news is, it's true. 
We can just say, we can, uh, if you don't understand it, and we say, oh, Jesus loves you, Jesus loves you, do you know that Jesus loves you? You have to understand, the people who need to we don't stop there by just saying, Jesus loves you. We need to understand why you say that. We need to understand the whole context, okay? That makes up the way, that's why they, that's why they say that this, the book of Romans is the constitution, okay, of Christianity. It's what, how we should live. All right, in order to be able to obey the teachings of Jesus Christ. Okay. So he says here that this is accomplished, in, I'm still in verse 17, this is accomplished from start to finish by faith. Okay. The good news tells us how to make it right with God, how to make it right with God. And this is accomplished from start to finish by faith. Okay? From face to face, it says in the King James Version, from face to face. That means faith, regardless, it's from start to finish. Faith is the main ingredient. Okay? And that's why it says it's, it is through faith that a righteous person has life. Or in the other version, it says that just shall live by faith. Okay? It is through faith that a righteous person has life. Okay? Now, but then, so that's, that's, that's his purpose, right? He says that there is the good news. Why? What's the purpose of that good news? Why do we need that good news? Why did Jesus have to die? Why is that? Verse 18, but God shows his anger from heaven against all sinful, wicked people who suppress the truth by their wickedness. That statement, anything or anyone who suppress the truth is wickedness. Right? So that's why let's be very, very careful. Let's be very, very careful and not to just anything. It says here that who suppress the truth. Okay? God's anger. Show his God's anger from heaven against all sinful wicked people who suppress the truth by their wickedness. Once you try and suppress the truth, it's wicked. Okay? And it angers God. They know the truth, but God, they know the truth about God because He has made it obvious to them. For ever since the world was created, people have seen the earth and the sky. Through everything God made, they can clearly see His invisible qualities, His eternal power and divine nature. We can see that the God, how can the stars, how can the stars stay up there without falling? The beautiful, you go to nature, you go to the mountains, you go a uh, massive mountain on both sides, never ending. It's like Sierra Madre. It's even more because it's higher than Sierra Madre. And with snow caps on the top and on both sides. And you have the blue lagoons, lagoons on the... And oh, wow, I can't help but wow, 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 God is the... Uh, you can see the awesomeness of God. God is an awesome God. It's a big, big God. It's a big, big God. The same feeling that I have felt when I was on top of Masada, when we were worshiping at the top of Masada, we, wow, you see? People see the invisible, they don't see the invisible God. They see the power and the quality of the invisible God in His creation. And so there is no excuse. So, so in his divine nature. So they have no excuse for not knowing God. Okay? Yes. In verse 21, they knew God. Remember this. They knew God. But they wouldn't worship him as God. They knew God, but they wouldn't worship him as God. What does it say in my King James Version? They knew God. Verse. 21. It says, when they knew God, they glorified Him not. Okay? They knew Him, but they did not worship Him as God. They did not worship Him, nor give Him thanks. And they began to think of foolish ideas. You see this? The moment you don't worship God, okay? when a person don't worship God, thinks follow, okay? These things follow, okay? They began to think of foolish ideas of what God was like. 
they can they that's where it started okay that's where it started when there was no more worship they started they began to think up of foolish ideas of what god was like as a result their minds became dark and confused okay claiming to be wise they instead became utter fools and instead of worshiping the glorious ever ever living god they worship idols okay made to look like made to look like mere people and birds and animals and reptiles you see that's where it started okay when they were not worshiping god as god then they started worshiping they started to make uh, they started to make their own god okay by making something that may look like mere human being or an animal or uh, anything god is a jealous god what does god hate the most it's idolatry and unbelief okay so god abandoned them to do, to do whatever shameful see you can see now the you can see how Paul presented it how it is okay you mga philosopher so because of that God abandoned them to do whatever shameful things their hearts desired okay as a result they did vile and degrading things with each other's body okay bodies they traded the truth about God for a lie okay they traded the truth about God for a lie so they worship and serve the things God created instead of the creator himself. They uh, they claim to be worshiping God, but they are worshiping something else. They make that as their God and claim that it is the heavenly that he is the creator. How can that be the creator? You're the one who made it. So they worship God. Okay, so so they worship God verse 25 they traded the truth that they traded the truth about God for a lie so they worship and serve the things God created instead of the creator himself who is worthy of eternal praise okay verse 26 that is why that is why God abandoned them to their shameful desires okay it 28 verse 28 of still in chapter 1 since they thought it foolish to acknowledge God he abandoned them to their foolish thinking and let them do the things that should never be done. Things that are detestable because they refuse to acknowledge God. Their lives became full of every kind of wickedness. Sin, greed, hate, envy, murder, quarreling, deception, malicious behavior, and gossip. They are backstabbers, haters of God, insolent, proud boastful they invent new ways of sinning can you imagine that they even invent new ways of sinning and they disobey their parents they refuse to understand they break their promises like covenant breakers okay are heartless and have no mercy they know god's justice requires that those who do these things deserve to die okay yet they do them anyway and worse yet, they encourage others to do them to, to do them too. So Paul's uh, Paul's in this chapter one, Paul's uh, presentation here is that uh, there is a good news, which is Jesus Christ. Why do we need the good news? Because of this. Because God's anger to see God God hate sin all right god hates sin so what if god hates sin all right we all are sinners we all fell we need help 